Hey guys, in this, def uh, in, in this video I want to show the definition of cardinality of sets. Uh, so, if we have any set A, and this set A can be either finite or infinite. And for finite and infinite, we have different types of cardinality. And you can feel and uh, that uh, finite case is going to be really easy in terms of cardinality. So let me give you a definition. So we call cardinality of A. No, how we need to start our definition, we need to say if A is finite, then uh, cardinality of A we define just to be the numbers of elements in A. So our cardinality is just how many, in the case when A is finite, is just how many elements do we have in our set. So for example, uh, let's take A uh, with elements 1, 2, 3. And in this case you can see that cardinality of A is going to be equals to 3. Why? Because we have exactly three elements. Uh, another interesting example may be, it's a small proposition that you can prove. If we have an empty set, what is the cardinality of empty set? It's a good question. And how to prove, when you get the answer, how to prove that the cardin what is the cardinality of empty set? Okay, so if A is finite, our cardinality is really simple. It's just the number of elements. So basically what we need to do, we need just to count our elements. Okay, but what about when A is infinite? And one of the most simplest examples of A of our set, let's take the set of natural numbers. It's the first infinite set that you know uh, from your middle school, elementary school, high school. So we have the set of integers, yeah? And how are we going to give definition of cardinality in this case? If we are going to count the number of our elements, we can say that n, the cardinality of n is infinite. Because there is infinite number of elements. But what does infinite mean? Do we have one infinite? Do we have more than one infinite? So what, do, what is... We know what is natural numbers. Like, we can... Uh, we know the Piano's axioms that give us uh, the foundation for natural numbers. But what kind of foundation can we have for the infinite? And how I call like infinite case, I call this world of maps. So we define cardinality by using functions, by using mapping, by using bijections. And when A is finite, I call this world of counting. Why is the world of counting? Because we're counting elements. So basically combinatorics, the simple combinatorics, uh, lives in this world. And combinatorics is basically the science of counting. Yeah, so thank you for watching and let me know if you have any questions.